Hey everybody, Louisa here with um, another part of the project. This one is not very paper uh, related. It's just to go with the mini apron that I created for my mother. And what I've done is that I went to this one I got at Michael's. And I um, bought this large bark side, and as you can see, it's $9.99. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is I've already cut, using my silhouette, I've cut her sentiment. And it just says, uh, from the kitchen of, and her name. So I'm going to go ahead and weed it. And with my vinyl, I'm going to put it in the center here. And using a Sharpie, I'm just going to color in all the places. And then using a wood pen, and let me show you that real quick. This is not exactly the one that I'll be using. This is one that I'm actually giving uh, her also as a gift because it's something that I just discovered. And she's pretty crafty, so I know she'll love it too. Um, but using a wood burning uh, tool such as this one, which is really inexpensive and easy to get. You just go to Michael's, Joanne's, Hobby Lobby, AC Moore, you name it. And this one was $15 at Hobby Lobby, but then you can use a 40% coupon. It comes out pretty uh, off a pretty penny. So you can get it for about, what's that? Seven, eight dollars, something like that. I'm not doing math right now. But, um, so yeah, so the wood burning tool, I'm gonna use, um, I'm just gonna, you just turn it on and then you just trace over the chart, the Sharpie and you make, um, it ends up, engraving your wood and then I'm just going to give it a subtle a uh, little bit of shine using some mineral oil you can also get it at the supermarket at the store um, any of these places and it's um, it's food safe so because this will be a chopping board for her so I just really love this um, rustic look of this table you can get some of the circular ones but I just really like this one because it really looks a lot more like a chopping board so like I said, I'm going to go ahead and get started weeding my vinyl and I'm going to leave the camera on even though this is, uh, there are a lot of videos, great videos out there, but I'll just leave it on so that I can do it from start to finish so you can under, you can see the whole process. Okay, so now that I've gone ahead and weeded, um, I did notice that my silhouette had some problems cutting the L, so it did not cut the L out. So I'm going to have to do some um, improvising on the L. I'm not quite sure what happened, but it just missed one of the lines, so it did not cut the contour, so I won't have anything to fill in. So I'm probably going to just hand uh, freehanded. I'm not, it's not that that it's just one letter and I'm not going to recut the whole thing for it. So I'm using, this is um, vinyl from the dollar store and it's typically in the kitchen area and it's called, it's not even called vinyl, they call it something like adhesive backed prote sheet protector or something like that and it comes in huge rolls so you can buy, I want to say that they're um, 20 inches by, I don't even know the measurement, let me see if this says it. Yeah, it, it just comes in a packaging like this, and it says adhesive covering, washable. Oh, here it is. It's 18 inches by 1.5 yards. So for one dollar, you get a whole lot of it. And then I found this clear one, which removes um, the need for uh, transfer tape. So I'm just going to take my clear um, vinyl, put it on top as such, a little bit more carefully. <laughs> like that. And then I'm going to take my uh, little silhouette scraper remover. If you have a Cricut, um, then one of those would work well. And just draw, rub it on so that the little pieces, like the pieces of the E and these all these little tiny pieces um, can come in, can get stuck to it. Next, I'm going to go ahead and remove the plastic sheet from um, from my plank. Okay, so this is kind of what you have. I'm going to set this aside on my desk. I'm going to keep the clear, 
vinyl backing because you can always use that for other projects. And then I'm going to take, I actually like my, I have a silhouette spatula, but my Cricut spatula works, in my opinion, is so much better. So I still use that one instead. So very carefully, I'm going to start removing this. Try to remove it with the backing and then taking the backing off just because I don't want any pieces to be left behind. But since these are such intricate cuts, it may be a little bit more difficult than what it sounds like. I hope you can see this. I think I'm in frame. actually worked out pretty well. I think I have all my little pieces of the center, which is really why I want that clear sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all this leftover um, vinyl. All right, so I'm going to place my plank in the middle and I'm going to start removing the backing so I can attach the real vinyl that I want to trace or that I want to fill in, fill in to this is the simplest of all the step steps I think but still you want to be careful because sometimes the little a pieces like the little pieces we just weeded out will try to come off this one wasn't bad at all okay and now we still have some Okay, so I'm going to try to position it as um, lined up as I can, as I can. So I position it there and then I just scrape off. save this for later even though it has some pieces actually I probably won't it's just a dollar from the dollar piece so now that we have the vinyl on there I'm going to take my sharpie and start coloring in and I'm not going to do the a the l
Okay, so I'm going to lift. And I'm going to remove the remaining vinyl. Now, if you wanted to leave it like this, you could. You do not need to um, do... If you wanted to leave it like this, you can. You do not need to do the uh, wood burning. Sharpies are um, permanent on wood as long as you don't um, rub alcohol on them, on the wood. And also there's a few other ways to remove Sharpie stain from um, the wood. But the chances are what the people will be using it for um, in their kitchen won't be something that will be removable. So you, they can wash it, they can even um, dishwash it, and it will be fine. However, because I want to make it just a little bit nicer, I will be doing some wood burning. Okay, so I'm going to do this in my kitchen, which is a little bit of a wider, safer area. My camera is dying, so I'm going to probably just going to show you the beginning. Um, like I said, be careful because this goes, gets up to 950 degrees Fahrenheit, so you want to be in a safe area away from children. And be careful when you're use it, using it. And um, I've changed the tip to the tracing to the thin pen-like tip. And I'm just going to go over what I've traced with my Sharpie. And that's about it. You just keep going over until you get nice smooth grooves.